Hello YouTube, this is Remington H. I just ordered a uh, new SWR and power meter, the Diamond SX200. And it's actually to augment and perhaps replace my trusty uh, Radio Shack SWR power meter. This power meter was about $39, I believe, $40. And I've had it for a while. It seems to work pretty well but uh, I'm not all that confident about its accuracy. So I wanted to get a second SWR meter, power meter to uh, augment it and actually probably set up permanently with my uh, Kenwood hybrid radio. I probably mount it on top of the uh, MFJ IntelliTuner. The IntelliTuner, I'm not too confident about its accuracy either, actually. I've tried to calibrate it. Uh, it seems to be okay. But uh, I definitely want something else to uh, have a better idea, get a better uh, look at the performance of my radio, help in tuning it, make sure I'm peaking the RF, etc. So I think having an analog power meter will help me do that. I wanted to mention also I purchased this from Ham Radio Outlet, and I ordered it yesterday, and it came today. So fantastic, fast service from Ham Radio Outlet. Okay, I have the SX200 set up. Uh, the radio is wired directly to the SX200, and then the uh, SX200 is going to the MFJ929 tuner, and then, of course, the antenna and dummy load are plugged into the MFJ tuner. So I am operating on a dummy load. We have the main power switch here, which is really a forward and reverse um, power setting. Apparently, the off, all it does is turn on the light. It comes with a power cable that I have to have, have wired to my power source. Uh, you can see you have, like many other SWR meters, power setting or power reading, calibration to calibrate the uh, meter for SWR readings, and then actually to check the SWR on the bottom. You have to select your range, 20 watts, well, 5 watts, 20 watts, and 200 watts. You can read the wattage on the bottom three graphs there. You can see there's 200, 20, and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the, uh, leave it in the 200 watt range. Set my radio to the tune mode. And we'll go ahead and give it some power and see what happens. Now, every other meet, watt meter I have indicates that this puts out about 15 watts in tune mode. Okay, you can see the MFJ up on the bottom. Its power meter shows 15 watts. Forward. Try that again. Okay, you should be reading the 200 watt scale. That scale right there, which is 50, 100, 50, 200. And it shows 15 watts. So that seems accurate. Nice. It agrees with my other meter. I calibrated this with my Radio Shack watt meter. Now let's go ahead and go to CW mode and give it a flick rating of power here. Okay, the MFJ meter reads 110 watts. It dropped a watt when I flipped it off. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Let's go and look at this again. It should be put, this radio should be putting out 100 watts. It could be putting out a little more. My Radio Shack watt meter indicates maybe 110. That's kind of why I calibrated this so it reads 110. Should be reading the middle meter there where it shows 50, 100, 150, 200. Okay, one, two, three. That's a concern 
this meter is saying I'm putting out about 130 watts in CW mode. I suspect that is not accurate and reading high. I'm going to go ahead and put this into sideband mode. Let me just actually first make sure. Looking good. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna put this into sideband mode, and I'm gonna use the microphone, and I'm gonna talk. Make sure I have it in. Yeah, peak envelope power mode. Testing. Test. Testing, testing. I can't whistle, so sorry about that. This is Remington H. Rem wow, okay. So it seems more accurate there. Rem <laughs> Putting about, showing about 110 watts. So I don't know, you know, is it accurate in, is it more accurate in SSB peak envelope power mode than straight, you know, 100 watts of pure carrier? The instructions say in order to rate power, you should actually put it in SSB mode and whistle into the microphone. So, and they sort of, again, the manual isn't really all that intelligible, but they sort of dissuade you from using RTTY or FM or AM or CW modes to rate power. So I'm, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. I'm a little concerned, although when I run it in SSB mode, it seems to be, you know, showing an accurate 100, 110 watts. So I think it's a keeper. I'm not going to do, because I only have one hand, I'm not going to do the, show you how it works in as an SWR meter. I'm assuming anybody watching this video knows how to operate a meter like this. Uh, if I get requests to demonstrate its operation, I'll try to figure out a way to do that. Anyway, that's the SX200 from Diamond, purchased from Ham Radio Outlet. It's a nice meter. It looks really nice. It has a nice sort of instrument feel to it. It is it is metal. and. It probably doesn't show up in the camera very well, but the front panel looks very nice, looks very reasonably high quality, and it fits my station here as I wanted to set it up. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm not sure it's worth the money. It runs about $90. I think that's what I paid for it. it seems kind of high for what it is. Uh, my next video I actually did order another power meter an MFJ, so that should come next week, and I'll I'll do a quick video on that as well. I'll say seven three. Leave any questions or comments or suggestions in the comment section, and I'll talk to you soon.